What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Tatiana, if you guys don't know me. And today I literally just got home from Ikea. I got so many amazing things. There's a whole cart behind me and I got so many packages in the mail and it's new furniture. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna try and put them together with you guys because I don't know about you, but every time I get new things in the mail, like especially when it's furniture, it's like Christmas day every day. So I got a new breakfast table. I got a new breakfast table for the my like main living room area because my dining table is out here and my living room is all the way on the other side of the house, like the opposite wing. And I don't really use my formal dining table to eat dinner because we like to watch TV and like, you know, just kind of be more casual about it. So lately we've been like sitting on the couch or eating on the coffee table, which ends up with us sitting like literally on the floor, like cause my coffee table is pretty low. So to fix all this and to be human beings, I went and got a new breakfast table to put in the corner and I am so excited. Anyways, I'm gonna try to unpack this stuff and let's put it together. Then I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Ikea. I think I'm gonna do like a whole separate video on like organization for your fridge because I'm just obsessed and I wanna like completely reorganize my fridge and like get it super popping and clean and just motivating and inspiring because my fridge is not at the moment. You know, new year, new leaf, new routines. Anyways, okay. Let's start opening some of these packages up because I have no idea what the hell is in any of these. Oh my gosh, you guys, I got one of these. Ficus ginsengs and they're amazing. Um, she was just kind of speaking to me and I've been obsessed with plants. My girlfriend Val got me obsessed with plants. And I'm just, this one really spoke to me and I think ginseng, my mom always had like dried ginseng in the house all the time and like would always talk about ginseng. So I don't know if it's the same type of ginseng, but anyways, it reminded me of her. And I love, it came with this and I think it was like $30 um, for the whole thing. It might've been a little less, but this is from Ikea. They had so many and they had even smaller ones. And this ficus ginseng is one of the like better air purifiers. I know all of plants like purify your air and give you better air quality, but the ginseng is one of the best. I read that online. Ooh, I got these. Um, I plan on putting like juice and stuff in these. I have no idea. Let's put that there. Oh my goodness, this teapot. So I'm a huge tea girl. I'm not a coffee girl. And when I do tea, I do like, um, like, like leaves, like tea leaves. There you go. And so you put the tea leaves in there. I don't know if I would put, I think you just put the hot water in there. And then once the hot water is there, then you like let it steep. You know what I mean? Mm. But how adorable, like are you kidding me? I think it was like $15. Oh my gosh, these spices. These are one of the reasons I went to Ikea is to get my spices in check. There's no, I can't have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten spices just chilling. I only bought eight though. I got two packs of these and there were two, one for five dollars, four and nine for thing. I feel like that's a good portion of spice and it has like a huge one and then it has just a little one to like shake it off. I think they're so minimal. I desperately needed, desperately needed these. So, oh my gosh, so, so, so happy and excited to do and fill up those. Oh no, this one broke. Oh, I mean, it was kind of bound to happen. Ooh, the rest of them are okay though. Okay, these glass containers, I'm obsessed. I have the same ones in 
plastic, but for some reason I want to switch over to glass. Um, I think it's just a little healthier for you. And you know, why not? There we go. So I got a deep one, I got a more shallow one, and then I got the round ones. This one broke. Like, I don't know if you see the little side. But that's okay. We'll go get another one. And then I got four of these medium ones. I feel like this size I'll really use a lot, a lot, a lot. I think I chipped just a little bit. Like, why didn't I have these wrapped? Like, he is weird like that. Like, you just have to kind of go. Like, they don't even give you a bag. You gotta buy, like, a separate bag. Anyways, I think this one is, like, a little chipped. So, I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, I lost two in the process. But, that's not, that's not horrible. And then, what's really exciting are these lids. So, I got a bunch of these lids which I'm obsessed with. I've seen them before, but I never got them until today. And they're the weirdest little lids. Like it's a plastic lid and you take your, and you literally just, what? That is so crazy. <laughs> that is so crazy. I feel like it's like just a seal of freshness. I think I'm gonna go and get a few more of these. I actually have to go back to Ikea because I wanna get um, this TV stand thing. But how crazy is that? And you just put it in the fridge and it's done. So I got these, I got a bunch of these for all of them, like all the sizes. And then obviously I got the wood just because you know, that's my aesthetic. So it would just be like that which I'm obsessed with too. I really like the wood. But I feel like these are easier. I feel like my husband would love these. This is so easy to like get into for a snack, you know? Just go and it's like easy. What? They have these also for pots and pans. So you can like just cover your pot and your pan and I think it's pretty universal um, for your pots and your pans, so. Definitely gonna get more of these now that I have to go back because I broke two. Oh my gosh, that is just like so cool. What? Literally, that's so cool. Oh my gosh. Like notice how my hand is still there like just in case. <laughs> Woo, too much. So I got them for the round ones and then obviously the smaller ones. They didn't come in different colors, so I just kind of got whatever was there. I got this little guy, this thing my mom had all the time. And again, it's for like steeping your tea. So you put your herbs, your loose herbs in there and then, and then you put it in whatever, or you can like kind of drain it. Like when you're pouring the tea, so it drains so you don't get your tea leaves in your mug. Some more um, lids. I don't know if they're dishwasher safe though. I think I, are they? I think it says, I mean, there's a dishwasher on it. So, oh, it is, it's dishwasher safe. That's crazy. Cause these are not, this says hand wash. Yeah. And I'm sure, cause you know, it's wood. But this one is dishwasher safe and oven safe and microwave safe. Wow, that's this one. Wow, very impressed. And then the last thing I got was just a bunch of these. And this is what I wanna organize my little pantry, not pantry, but like where I keep my dishes. I wanna keep that super organized. And it's basically just a little like table thing to like stack my dishes. So, you know, and it's super annoying to like have your dishes, you know, you have like your big dishes and then your little dishes. So my big dishes will go here and then my little plates will go here. I think the same can do with like cups. So it comes with little screws. What a fun day. Let me just go to Ikea and get a whole bunch of organizational things. 
So I'm so excited to use all of these. Stay tuned for like a separate video on how I organize my fridge because I really, really, really want to do that. Now let's go find a home for her. Look what I picked up, this incredible Birds of Paradise plant. She's taller than I am and I'm like 5'4", five, 5'5". Five, five. This planter I had from like two years ago. She lived outside. I got it from Home Goods, and she just came so clutch. Um, I think I'm gonna end up moving her across the room, like over there, because she might be a little too big for, this is where I want my little breakfast table to go. Cause look, there's a lot of space here. And I want my little breakfast table to go here cause then you still have access to the TV. Hi. But yeah, how enormous and gorgeous is she? I love plants now. They bring so much life into the room. All right, I kind of unboxed everything. And now we just kind of have to put it together. <laughs> This is really heavy for as small as it is. But it's so cute. It looks like so RH, literally. It's a freaking RH dupe. Um, I think it was just about like $300. And it's like really sturdy. This is glass, but it looks really, really nice. Like it looks, it does look like real marble, but it's glass. It's so cute. I can't wait. I got these really cute wood RH chairs to go with it. So I'm really, really excited. Okay, I'm literally sweating. I moved her to the other side of the room because she used to be here. And where the table is now, I put my little pedestal with my aloe just for now. I do want to get like a floor plant, like a floor tall plant here. I just I need to find one. So hopefully I go out this week and try to find one. But for now, my aloe's here because she's the least high maintenance of all of my plants. I don't want to be moving them around too much. So I have my ficus here still. and She's a little moody, so I'm not going to touch her. And then I've moved my birds of paradise here, which I think is so cute because it just makes this little corner. Oh, don't mind my pillow. Ooh. Just makes this corner so much better. Right now, I just borrowed two of my dining chairs, so it's not gonna be that aesthetic. They're like wood chairs with a black base, the black seat, I should say. And then I found this at Home Goods. Tell me what you guys think. I feel like I wanna fill it with like moss or something, but I do have a lot of silver going on. Like, see, and like the legs, like silver going on in here, so I thought it would be cute, but let me know. I'm loving this little corner. And a little update. Let me turn on the light, or maybe not, natural light. I've put together all my little spices, and I'm so obsessed. I have a label maker, so I went ahead and like put the whatever spice it was on the back bottom, just so, because I mean, I know what they all are. Like this is garlic salt, black pepper, paprika, adobo. This is a poultry mix I put together. Oregano, stevia for my breakfast in the morning, my oatmeal, and cinnamon. I have a couple more, so I think, I think I'm gonna go get four more. I love me some spices. I still need to put like turmeric. I have an Italian spice, um, my red chili flakes. So I think I'm gonna get four more just to complete them because I love having them all there. It makes me want to use them and spice up my food. But anyways, I think I'm going to tone it down because I'm like out of breath for some reason. Um, just going to take it easy. I'm going to catch up on my Gossip Girl. Yes, I'm very late on the Gossip Girl train. Um, I don't know what happened. Never, never did I 
watch it until now and they're actually taking it off Netflix I think on Christmas or like New Year's Day they're taking it off so I have like the rest of December to watch the last season and I love it it's so scandalous anyways I hope you guys enjoyed my you know Ikea haul and putting together my dining table I can't wait to show you guys what it's gonna actually look like and when I get the chairs and then everything and I can't wait to organize my refrigerator and show you guys because that's something that I'm so looking forward to just this year is all about like eating well and exercising and just like taking care of yourself and being selfish that way so I'm off to buy more plants and improve my air quality I am dedicated to being a plant mom like dedicated like my girlfriend totally inspired me I think she bought like five plants like all at once so I'm slowly building my way to a good collection I just need to I need to honestly situate my window treatment situation in my bedroom so that I can allow plants to live in my bedroom because right now it's so dark because I have blackout curtains so I'm in the process of getting that switched up so that I have like really good shears and like blackout remotes only when I need them at night or in the morning. Um, so that I can bring in all these beautiful plants and improve the air quality. It is so good. It's so beneficial for obviously your health, but your skin, you know, and your mood and all of that. So there's nothing like really good fresh air because, you know, we live in so much pollution. It can't hurt to have a plant or two in the house. I've always drawn away from real plants just because I've never been able to like keep one alive. But now that I'm thinking about them, I've always only dealt with flowers like orchids or I've tried to have like flowers outside in on the balcony but they just like never survived so I've always had like aloes like I have one right here and they love me like they love me they always do well with me I have one in Miami and sometimes I'm not in Miami for like months at a time and she's still like flourishing she's freaking like thriving she's having fun so my aloes really do um they love me and i talk to them my mom has taught me to like talk to plants and um just appreciate them for everything that they do for us because they do a whole lot more than you think they do anyways i'm gonna close this out right now because i'm rambling like a psycho Stay tuned for all of the fun videos coming and I just hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you in my next one.